Nando V Movies decided to reassemble us YouTube freaks to take a second and reflect back upon the Fox X-Men universe. And not just the popular YouTube freaks. You're all more than welcome to make a video in your own voice, in your own style, and just rave about a single scene from one of these movies that you adored. Send them to Nando and he will add them to this excellent playlist. Uh, okay, holy shit. The time has finally come once again. I missed my opportunity to be involved with this YouTube family get-together when the one marvelous scene was around, but but man, am I ready to throw my hat in the ring on this one? I've already seen a dozen videos in the Almighty playlist, but I'm pretty sure none of them have covered the scene that I want to talk about in today's video. What scene would I be talking about? Well, if it wasn't obvious from the title and the thumbnail, my video on one excellent scene will be covering <laughs> the ruthless slaughter of the X-Men from the movie Days of Future Past. Coming in as the seventh installment of the X-Men series, Wolverine is tasked with the mission of traveling back in time to stop Mystique from assassinating Bolivar Task, whose death leads to the creation of the Sentinels, which are robots designed to wipe out the mutants. Days of Future Past is not my all-time favorite X-Men movie, but it definitely holds the record of having one of the best scenes I have ever seen in an X-Men film, and I'm not talking about the Quicksilver scene. I'm talking about the sequence where the last remaining mutants try their hardest to hold back the deadly, advanced, and upgraded Sentinels from reaching Wolverine. I love this sequence for several reasons. The action. The action is intense and it's gripping. The movements of the characters are a little bit sloppy at first, but I think that's what just makes it more like great and more tense because they're throwing everything they have at these sentinels and they're just not going down. There's barely any dialogue, which makes it more intense as well because there's not a moment to lose. Like if one mutant slips up, then it's certain death. They have no time to like stand still for one minute because these sentinels are coming at them and they're coming at them hard. music the music is insanely tense like it's thrilling but it also has me at the edge of my seat as well it starts off like playful as well because it's it's fun action music but then it slowly turns into some sort of horror aspect because in the end the mutants all slowly like get killed off one by one the score was excellent honestly it would just really added to the intensity of the scene The characters were really expressive, like they weren't really just two-dimensional characters. Apart from one, which I don't know the name of, everyone was giving it their all. Like some were familiar faces, others were new people that we've never seen before. But everyone was practically on edge. They were scared but determined to, you know, get the job done. But even if they knew that they won't survive, they were still trying to fight. And even if it seemed like they were severely outgunned when it came to the Sentinels, they still gave it their all. The stakes, the stakes were obviously super high. You could tell from the music and from the action and from the overall premise of the story. Everything all relied on this one thing that they had to do. And obviously with the unstoppable sentinels trying to stop them, it really added to the intensity. Everyone is literally on the edge of losing because it's a small handful of mutants against these unstoppable army of sentinels. <laughs> The ending. Everyone who we get introduced to in this movie practically doesn't make it. The Sentinels are seen as these unstoppable machines that can adapt to any power you throw at them. And I really love that aspect about them. The X-Men seem really outgunned because, you know, when you're going up against like these godlike creatures, there's not much you can do. And I really love that aspect. I didn't expect to see one of my favorite X-Men die, but to see it done so quickly was just very interesting intriguing but also scary at the same time and I love that about this sequence. Arguably the Sentinels were the best thing about Days of Future Past. I really dig their futuristic looks rather than their slightly more accurate previous designs from the past. Their futuristic look made them look way more slender and intimidating. Also the fact that they've made the Sentinels absorb and adapt to the mutant's power was fucking fantastic. So that about covers my one excellent scene. Days of Future Past is an excellent movie with various of terrific scenes, but for me, the Sentinel Massacre just stood out the most 
and I wanted to bring it into the spotlight. Thanks for watching and I hope this video finds its way into the playlist. Even if it doesn't, I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you later. Take care everyone.